In East Africa, there is a country often referred to as cursed that has recently made headlines due to a disturbing epidemic of missing children. Yes, since June 2023, over 7,000 children have disappeared across this nation, with only about 20% found. And now the news came from here which shaken the world is about a serial killer who has claimed the lives of over 40 women identified. The country's question is Kenya. In this sprawling shanty town of Mukurukwa, Nijenda in Nairobi, Kenya, in 2022, a 26-year-old hair braider girl named Josephine Owino vanished one morning after receiving a sudden phone call. Desperate to find her, her younger sister, Paris Kea, visited three police stations but received no help. It was an ultimate Kea had a vivid dream in which her sister appeared and directed her to a pool of water that the search took a critical turn. Now, following the dream, Ms. Kea enlisted local men to help search an abandoned quarry filled with trash, where they discovered at least 10 sacks containing body parts. And the shocking part is, the dump, located just across the street from a police station, was only truly searched after Ms. Kea paid these men to assist. Questions arises, who committed these crimes? How could such crimes go unnoticed? And how were the police officers unaware of the fact that over 40 body parts were discovered in the sack just behind the station? After that, the investigation was swiftly escalated and detectives were immediately called in. Where at Khalusha's residence, detectives found several mobile phones, identity cards and nylon sacks similar to those used to wrap the victim's body. This evidence pointed to a methodical and premeditated series of killings, which has prompted some to dub him the Kenyan Ted Bundy. The discovery of the body parts has shocked the nation, fueling fear and rumors. The case has intensified scrutiny of the Kenyan police, raising concerns about their failure to investigate numerous missing person reports and their response to public complaints. And in the recent weeks, criticism of the police has grown following their violent crackdown on protests against tax highs introduced by President William Ruto. The police have also faced accusations of brutal abductions of activists and journalists. Amit Distron Moyle Kenya's inspector journal of police resigned and the independent police watchdog has launched an investigation into the police role in the murders. Now, after the two year of investigation on July 15, 2024, this case finally opened. Where in a new development, the police tracing a phone number arrived at a club where Jumasi Khalisia had gone to watch the Euro 2024 final on Monday, June 15. They reached the location at 3 am and promptly arrested a 33 year old suspected serial killer. Vampire killer Khalusha allegedly confessed to murdering 42 women, including his own wife, over the past two years between 2022 and 2024, and disposing of their bodies in the quarry. The police claimed they tracked Khalusha through a forensic analysis of a victim's cell phone, although his lawyer has accused the authorities of extracting the confession through torture. Collins has now been described as a vampire and a psychopathic serial killer as he has no respect for human life. As the bodies have already been recovered from the dump site, some had been identified through DNA, none matched Ms. Kea's sister yet. The case has also prompted families of missing women to await justice and a proper burial for their loved ones. Among them is a Myungal Ogongo, whose sister Rosaline Akot Agongo, a 24-year recent migrant to Nairobi, was identified by a local t-shirt and a pink handbag found among the evidence. The tragic discovery has left a community in mourning and has called into question the effectiveness and integrity of the police in Kenya.